Next, number uh, 19. 19. I can't even hear myself. There we go. That's <clears throat> much better. <sighs> number 19. On the night of October 18th, 1973, while flying clear weather at an altitude of 2,500 feet near Mansfield, Ohio, a four-man crew of U.S. Army helicopter was frightened by a glowing red object that seemed to be converging on them at immense speed. <clears throat> to avoid collision, the captain, <clears throat> Lawrence Tyone, went to a quick descent where he last observed the altimeter, it registered 1,700 feet. With the glowing object still headed for the copter, he warned his crew, brace for impact. Instead, Coyne, I believe that's how he pronounced his name, later reported, we looked up, and there was the object, stopped at about 500 feet above us. It appeared to be a gray metallic structure, 50 to 60 feet long, hailing a green light that flooded the cockpit. After a few seconds, it took off at a high speed without turbulence, vortex, or engine noise, and then it looked at his altimeter. Howell was shocked to discover the helicopter was at 3,500 feet and climbing, though he still did not remember touching the controls. Had it been sucked up or drawn up magnetically by the UFO? Just one of countless mysterious happenings, which seems to occur without any special rhyme or reason. Fact or fiction, what do you think? Believe it or don't. That's incredible. That's really incredible. Real incredible people. <clears throat>